Hi everyone, thank you for subscribing and following me. Today I will show you how to do crochet pot holder. This one I use from acrylic yarn, um, four ply, because I use for my salad bowl and for decoration. So I use a acrylic one. And another one that I make for my friend, she used for the hot pot. So this one gonna be um cotton one. So let's start. So today I use um, acrylic four ply yarn. I choose white and yellow color to make it clear with um, when I do video. So let's start with chain eight. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we slip stitch at the first chain to make a circle. Now chain three, we count at one double DC and one double crochet in the circle. We do 17 double crochet in the circle. When we count, including that chain three, it should be 18, 18 in the circle. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Double crochet in the ring 17 and plus that one you should get 18 in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And we slip stitch and chain 3 here. 1, 2, 3. And we slip stitch together and chain one and single crochet in the next stitch and chain 23 1 2 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And after that, slip stitch in the same stitch. And one single crochet in the next stitch. 
one crochet in the next stitch and this stitch we do chain 23 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 if you can't follow you can stop the video and do chain and come back and slip stitch in the same stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch and in this stitch we do the same like that one chain 23 we do all round until you reach the circle you should get nine in there nine of that one of the loop when you do until you reach um, the circle you should get nine loop in there one two three four five six seven eight nine and one single crochet in the last one and we slip stitch on chain one when we start at one here now we got like that and we start with single crochet in the first chain remember that we got 20 trick chain in here yeah. so we start at the first one that one 23 when we go half it 11 chain and the middle and 11 chain so we do 11 in the side one yeah two three four five six <laughs> seven oh, thank you and someone beside me as usual so got a little bit interrupt sometime so one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 so we, when we come to 11 the 12 one we do three single crochet in one stitch so one two and three so t we do three because we make it pointing so after that um, one single crochet you should get 11 in here and we do the same all round until you finish um, in the circle If you can't remember, you can count that. When you go, when you go, you can count. So you're not lost. And for the middle here, one single crochet. And start um, the neck loop, the first chain. And again it 11 single crochet and at the 12 one we do three single crochet so two three Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the twelve one. We do three single crochet in one stitch. Yeah, one, two, three. And for this side, you should get 11 single crochet. And we do this repeat pattern until you reach um, one round. You keep repeat um, pattern until you come to the last loop. single crochet here and slip stitch here this for the first row of single crochet now we're gonna chain color We start um, chain color at one chain here, the one single crochet that we start from the hoop. For the changing of the crochet, you can start with um, new color or you can join like that. It depends on how you like it. It doesn't matter. So now we keep doing one single crochet until you reach the three single crochet in one hoop here one one chain here if you count that for the second row here it should get like 13 single crochet but when you do like more row, you that don't need to count that because we use that um, three single crochet in one chain as a as a mark for us. So when you do single crochet until you reach that one, three in three in one here, we just do the second one one crochet in the second one we do three single crochet in here two three and the rest is single crochet if you start to do the first the first of um, crochet pot holder you will a little bit confused but when you do the second one or the third one you will know um, what um, the pattern should be and now we do every single crochet of every single stitch like that Keep doing until you reach um, the pointing one, the three one in here. And we count the second stitch to make um, three double crochet in one stitch here. One, two, three. The reason that we used, um, we put three single crochet in one stitch because we want 
to make it pointing now single crochet for the rest we do single crochet in every stitch until you reach here again and make three single crochet in one stitch so repeat pattern until you reach um, the row here You can use marker um, to put it on when you can't remember. It's gonna make it easy to remember when you come to the point. And now we reach um, the first row of the yellow color. We do every single crochet in every stitch and to here we slip stitch the first one and we start chain one and one single crochet to start the next row. And the pattern um, same like every row when you come to the point we put the second one for three single crochet in the second one of the previous row One, two, and three, and single crochet until you reach the another point here. All single crochet in every stitch except the point, just that for the pattern of this pot holder. will be pretty soon And keep continue until you finish the second row of yellow one. When you come to reach the second row of yellow color, here we join the stitch. We slip stitch here before. And now we slip stitch and chain one. You can cut that or you can leave it like that one. It's up to do because we're gonna cut that anyway. You can leave that or cut that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 
now we do the white color it should be like that so if it come like this shape no worry now we do white color chain one and one single crochet in same stitch and continue do single crochet until you reach the point here the three single crochet in one stitch so we do one um three single crochet in one stitch um pattern repeat it until you finish of the pot holder You don't need to count here now because it got all continue with um, single crochet in one stitch. Until you reach the three of the one. At the point, three single crochet in one stitch. And keep continue single crochet in one stitch until one row Now three single crochet in one stitch at the point here, two and three, and continue until you reach one row. When you come to the last stitch here, slip stitch at chain 1 from the beginning and chain 1 and one single crochet in same stitch here and continue single crochet again for the second row of um, white color. one two three in one stitch to make it pointing and continue one single crochet so it repeat pattern with single crochet keep you more patient continue Continue until you reach um, the second row and we change color to yellow color.
continue until you reach the um, second row of the white color and slip stitch here and chain one and cut and now you will see <laughs> Before you go to um, the yellow color for this row, we're gonna hide uh, this one. I can cut that and that one. Probably hide that one. You can just um, one high because it's not gonna detangle. My needle, my needle too small. Sorry, shoot the wrong needle. For the first row of yellow here, we will start soon. Um, it's repeat pattern, but the second row is joining one. It more like that now. So now we join the yellow color. Chain one and one single crochet in same stitch. And single crochet until you reach the pointing one. Do three single crochet in one chain. I mean in one stitch. A repeat pattern. I hope you guys can follow me. It's very fun to make it with different color too. Okay, when you reach the pointing one here, so do the same three stitch in one and continue the repeat pattern until you reach here and we come back with uh, the second row of yellow color that we will join the petal together Until you reach the beginning, slip stitch together, and for the second row of yellow one, we will do four up, just adjust like that, and now we're gonna join that, this one and this one together. You can count from the three of that one, single crochet in one stitch. Count from the first one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you can't remember, put mark it on there. 
and count to seven one two three four five six seven eight we're gonna join that one together now from here we slip stitch until we reach the mark when you reach here take the crochet out and take that one out and use the crochet that side and put in this side slip set it all together and one chain put here and where is this one two three four five six seven eight and one chain uh. and after that start single crochet until you reach the point Look like someone helping. I come back. <laughs> Sorry about helper. When you reach um the three the point here, three single crochet in one. We use um we do the same three single crochet in one stitch. After that, seven single crochet down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we do the same for the next one. Four like that. And we join here. Just count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one. We join here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slip stitch. Sorry, I forgot to tell you slip stitch here first. And where are you now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slip stitch all together. And chain one. And do single crochet until you reach the point one, the three one. And one, two, three, in one stitch. And now I tell you about that one. Some of the um, yarn, they're gonna tie when you count to seven or to eight, to eight stitch. So my solution for that is we just Make sure it all together and not too tight or too loose. Without counting stitch, we just make it, adjust it and do slip stitch where it's suitable so that you work not too tight or too loose. That's the way that I'm joining. 
but it's normally like seven or eight stitch in here gonna make it look nice um i told you because um some of yarn when we do seven stitch or eight stitch it some it too tight and some it too loose so we just make it like it look pretty and looked like that and we just join that without counting one this yarn is seven or is that it it's suitable for it so how many now one two three four five six seven and slip stitch at it and count from here one two three four five six seven eight and slip stitch all together and chain one and single crochet two three four five six seven and fighting one two three and again seven down here one two three four five six seven we do the eight one here <laughs> and count from here one two three four five six seven eight and we slip stitch chain one One, two. We do like that. All, all petal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Oh, thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the eight one. And count from here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Add one, slip stitch, and chain one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're gonna come to reach here to stop. the hanging one that one you can slip stitch one chain and cut or uh, for who that like to make the chain for hanging up we just start from here 
slip stitch in the middle here and chain for me it chains 30 but depend on how long that you want it long two three four five six six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen It depends on how long that you want it long. Or you just keep doing without counting. And when you got the length that you like, you just come to slip stitch at the same stitch here. And done. Okay, finally, thank you very much for watching. See you.